Peter Burnham not here tonight. He's in Leeds on tour at the moment with Jeff Capes. That's Peter. right. Yeah. Oh, good, you're there. Yeah. Now, you're touring these art centres, mm -hmm. doing the art centre circuit. Jeff Capes is a fairly new addition to the cabaret circuit. He is, but uh, what a guy. Well, I know you share the same agent, so I know you're yeah. going to put in a certain number of good words for well, him. Well, yeah, I mean, fair enough, but he is a great guy. I mean, have you seen him, though, Chris? Yeah, well, I saw it at Reading. The, the, yeah. That, that kind of, that whole chanting thing. I know that sort of like... people. Going like, Capes, 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 Capes. 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 So I mean, that, just brilliant. And then only comes, he does a 20-minute stand-up set of rip roaring <laughs> stuff, yeah. and then pulls a horse to pieces with his bare hands. <laughs> I mean, isn't that just fantastic? <laughs> well, I have to say, I mean, it's a really interesting moment because the audience is confronted with somebody that they know and many of them love doing something of unspeakable violence <laughs> and yet they laugh well do you know what the amazing thing is that i've had people coming up to me after the show and they all say the same thing they they say in theory that was a disgusting thing but in practice seeing it it was just amazing then you go on for an hour you have I to do, follow yeah. that i do yeah i go and do the singing you know the hello dear black man with a large penis <laughs> Yeah. And you do that for an hour? I do, yes. What's his name? What, the... the Mojo Flopcock. <laughs> <Sorry>. Yeah. <laughs> so you do the Mojo Flopcock. So anyway, I do so the that, Mojo Flopcock, yeah. That's on tour at the moment. And you're in Leeds doing that tonight in less than half an hour, so I've got yeah. to, can't keep you. I know. I, I was at Leeds in the summer. Mm -hmm. Hadn't been there for about ten years. Couldn't believe how laid back it was. I know. It was, I mean, it was a warm night, but the bars were open till two in the morning. There was... Good ale, there was a great atmosphere, very kind of continental so, feel. Do you know what they do, right? The mayor, right? Yeah. On ten o'clock on a Saturday morning, every week, hides somewhere in the city, and then everybody in Leeds sort of converges on the city centre and looks for him until about 5pm the next day. They have to find him by 5pm on the Sunday. When I went up there, they did this yeah. um, sparrowing thing. Yeah. You know where they go and find a tall church or yeah, a, a tall the... building? And they just drop sparrows in bottles from the top. <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it? Well, uh, did you actually see it happen? I did. Well, I had a go. I mean, you don't. The nice thing is, you don't have to force the sparrow in the bottle. You're given there a, already. You're, you're given a, a, a readily bottled sparrow, yeah. and then you just go to the thing and you just drop it off the edge, and you watch it crash to the floor. <laughs> of course, it dies. It's, yeah, yeah. Well, it's superb though. Yeah. Watch the thing trying to escape out of the bottle <laughs> as it goes down. And then this week, I gather I was in the Sunday papers that they mm. got a thousand volunteers to change the hospital's nappy. Very moving. That did oh, you see that? God, it was like it was just beautiful. Beautiful. Because you yeah. came in on yeah. Sunday night or something. Didn't I you? came in on Sunday night. I mean, in this is the thing. In a car. I mean, the thing is. I have to say that one of the best things, right, is the drumming. Have you heard about this? They have drummers. On the black spot? Yeah. On every accident black spot on the outskirts of Leeds, yeah. there is a famous drummer. they are people like Topper Hedden, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're and Jet uh, Black. Jet Black, as I was driving in, because I was coming in on the Headingley Road. And remember Jet Black from the uh, the Stranglers? Yeah. He's there in the headlights. So I sort of come around the corner. He's there, notorious accident black spot. And he's, like, drumming away. He's, like, banging away, doing a sort of 24-hour solo. I mean, oh, fantastic. God, you know, I'd love to see, oh, I'd love yeah, to see yeah, Kenny yeah, Jones yeah. just oh, loom Kenny up Jones. in my headlights. Oh. Just, uh, and then there's this Law and Order carnival mm. as well, which I... I mean, I love the sound of. And the running of the Ripper. Yes! Yes, the running of the Ripper. Now, how does... They, they fence well, off the pavements. Yeah. The crowd's on the pavements. And the Ripper runs down the street. That's right, yeah, yeah. For four miles. Now, mm. is that the real... Well, I, I was wondering, because I, mean, I thought, should they, but apparently they're trying to sort of work it so they can let the guy out, you know. On a once-a-year basis. On a sort of once-a-year basis, you know, there'll be helicopters everywhere. They'll be, and I mean, it's, he's fenced off anyway, but at the moment, they've just got sort of some, some bloke in a sort of funny beard. I mean, everyone has, has a laugh, you know, it's like, you know... Beard and dinner jacket, he's got a knife. Yeah, yeah. And, and then the got, local dudes step yeah. out and try and dodge him. Yeah, they sort of jump over the barriers and they're running ahead of the ripper, you know, it's just... Oh, God. And then who are these guys? There's like ten men with huge mm. inflatable hammers yeah. whacking the ripper oh. on the head as he runs <laughs> down the thing. And they, yeah. if they flatten him before the end of the four-mile course, mm. then it's like they've won. It's really funny, though, when I was thinking, when I was watching the guys with the inflatable hammers, right, yeah. that it's, in a way, right, it's a shame that the ripper didn't have an inflatable hammer. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because then no, nobody what? would have got, they would have just got bruised. At, 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 yeah. At, at, in fact, <laughs> even if it had been an inflatable hammer with, yeah. with a sort of a sand-filled head, yeah. and, and he'd gone around clocking people on the head, they would have, at the worst, been concussed. Mm. Nobody would have been stabbed. Yeah, yeah. Even if he'd tried to sort of roll it up into a kind of tight plastic spike, he would have had no chance, wouldn't have been able to do nearly the damage that he did with a knife. <laughs> I suppose either that or if he'd been born inside a car with no doors. Uh, yeah. Peter, you are a Leeds councillor. That's right. So, we'll take a break now and then we'll talk to you and a couple of students from the university about some of the council policies. Okay. So that follows Newsbeat. Made a terrible mistake this week. I burst into Gary Wilmot's Copacabana show and shouted out, you're a dirty little man, Craig Charles. 
Right, during the course of the next 12 months, League Council plan to institute a number of changes to their policies, particularly to do with their civic policy. With us is Councillor Peter Bainham, and also we have two students from Leeds University, Natalie and Robert. Now, Councillor Bainham, yep. the one which is... Yep table to come into act operation soonest mm -hmm. is the reintroduction of Butter Sunday, in which yeah. people are given free butter yep. on one Sunday every month. Now, what's the thinking behind Question that? Question number one. Well, yeah. well, basically, we just thought that we wanted to bring a bit of uh, pleasantness back, so we decided to reintroduce Butter Sunday, which is you know, an old thing from the 60s, where basically once a month everybody gets free butter on a Sunday. It's very simple. What do you, you know, think about that, uh, Natalie and Robert? Homeless. homeless. I, well, uh, considering the amount of homeless people you seem to see around in Leeds and people busking and trying to get money other ways, I can imagine that That's money one. can be much better spent than sort of trying to distribute butter every Sunday. Do you agree with that, Natalie, or do you think that it's actually fair enough and that distributing butter is at least a form of distributing food? Um, no, I, I tend to agree more with Rob because I do feel there, there are certain other issues which are far more important and which need dealing with. Can you name a few? Homeless. Um, homelessness, Yay! problems yes. with the unemployment, just general social problems which could be dealt with more effectively. Let's look at some other element of uh, council policy which I think may raise a few eyebrows. Mm. This idea of sending a delegation to Haiti. We as a Labour Council disapproved of the American intervention in Haiti. But does that justify sending ten councillors at the ratepayers' expense yes. to Haiti to conduct a campaign of booing yes. at a cost of £72,000. Yes, but I think right. that let me just money stop well you there. spent. Let me stop you there. Uh, Natalie, do you have any view on that? Um, well, I, I do actually find that quite horrific, really, considering the amount of problems that there are in Leeds. Homeless. Robert? I think that seems like a rather excessive amount of money in terms homeless. of... If it's about Leeds, essentially, then the money should yep. be spent here, and particularly on. dealing with things like homelessness, <laughs> because yeah. basically I'm sick of seeing it around Leeds. Oh. Councillor Bainham, is yeah. it right to downgrade slaughterhouses simply in order to save money to put it in another direction. It's very simple. I mean, it's, it's just what it was a one-off thing. It was an experiment. We tried it once. We had an open day at several slaughterhouses during the city. It was one of a whole range of things that went on. Yes, but they do say that what happened was that people were allowed to use the equipment which was used to slaughter cattle. Yes. Continue. It raised very good yes, money. It but raised it a lot of children money. Children shooting cattle dead. And mm. now you have one man who is armed with the slaughtering instrument. Mm. They shut the doors. As long as they're all killed by the end of it, it doesn't matter. Natalie, what do you think of that? Well, I, considering what you said about Haiti and the £72,000 oh. from that, it seems that, that was rather a dummy. than trying to Haiti raise money dummy. from having an open day in a slaughterhouse it and inflicting cruelty on animals, which we're supposed to try and reduce, uh. it would be far better to reallocate oh. the money from a trip to Haiti oh. to homeless people. Oh. I remember what it was like being a student. You think you're so right. You think the world is you and your money and... The, the homeless. I need to open.